Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me. We're going to go over how to use Laravel and Tailwind together. Laravel, if you're not familiar with, is a PHP framework and Tailwind is a CSS utility first framework. We're going to show an unstyled example component. We're going to install Tailwind and then we're going to show that example component all styled. On my screen, what I have is a blank Laravel project. The only thing that I've done is a composer create project. So it's a completely blank Laravel project. If we take a look at the browser, you'll see that it's just the default Laravel install um, default screen. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that we have to do is we're going to run npm install. And that npm install is just going to install the components that Laravel needs in order to um, build. So for example, one of those key pieces is Laravel Mix. If you're not familiar with Laravel Mix, it's a easy way to manage Webpack. It's a kind of a framework on top of Webpack to just make it easier for us to manage. So let's do an NPM install. Now this can take a while depending on your machine. There's a lot of things to install here. Okay, looks like everything's been installed. So let's go ahead and continue on. So in order to get Tailwind installed in our project, we actually have to install a few more dependencies. These dependencies are Tailwind CSS, post CSS and auto prefixer. So it's just a simple npm install command with a dash D which tells our project that we want to install those as dev dependencies. I'm going to go ahead and install those. Okay, great. The next item that we have to do is an npx tailwind CSS init. And this is going to create a Tailwind config JS file. This file is important because this is what tells Tailwind what to use when it's building the app CSS file. So let's take a look at our project again after we've got this Tailwind config JS file. Okay. All right. So now that we have the Tailwind config file, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Now this is the file that we're going to tell Tailwind where to find the content so that it knows which CSS to purge. If you're not familiar with purge, what that means, it's only going to generate the CSS that's actually being used in your project. So that keeps your CSS file very small. I'm going to go ahead and copy this from the docs on Tailwind CSS. All right, great. Now that we've got that in there, now the purge knows where to find the content and to use to generate the CSS files. Let's add a component with all the styles already added with the class and see what it looks like without Tailwind installed. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up welcome. And this is the, the default view that comes with Laravel. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste my component. Okay, great. I have the component pasted and let's actually take a look at the component that we're going to build. All right. This is the component that we're going to build. So let's take a look at our default Laravel. Now that we've pasted in the component that we're going to use, I basically copied this style from a website. So let's take a look at what this unstyled component looks like. Okay. So it doesn't look like much. It kind of has a little bit of styling, um, but that's because Laravel actually already comes with a little bit of styles installed. So let's continue on with the install. Okay, so now that we've edited our config.json, the next thing that we have to do is require Tailwind CSS in our Webpack mix file. The next thing we have to do is in our app.css, 
we need to add three different items that Tailwind requires in order to work. And that's Tailwind Base, Tailwind Components, and Tailwind Utilities. Okay, so now that we've got our app.css, we actually need to run a terminal command. And this is gonna be an NPM command that we run that tells Tailwind to build the CSS file. So that command we need to run is npm watch. This is gonna watch for any changes in, any changes in here. So if we are changing something in there, it's gonna go ahead and it's going to regenerate that CSS file for us. So anytime we're using something new, it will add that to the CSS file. All right, the next thing that we have to do is back in our blade file, we have to actually add the CSS file. So like I mentioned earlier, Laravel comes with a little bit of styles. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this. And we're gonna add the CSS file that was generated. Okay, so if we refresh our browser, we now see that the whole entire thing is styled. And that's how you install Tailwind in Laravel. It's as simple as that. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you in my next videos. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'd be happy to help. Like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome programming videos.